With that out of the way, let's move on to the final official topic today. And the final official topic today comes to us from Charlie Crick, who writes, I love the trailer for Aquaman and Shazam. However, am I the only one that feels that if Aquaman fails, the DCEU has failed altogether and has no chance of coming back if the box office numbers are bad? All right, fair enough. Thanks a lot for the question, Charlie. And that, that is a question a lot of people have been asking. It's a fair question to ask. With the struggles the DCEU has had, with what happened with Justice League, if Aquaman were to come out and tank, no pun intended, and tank, is that it? I mean, does, does that put, does that sign the death certificate? Does that put the tag on the toe and say, it's official, the DCU is done? I don't think so. I don't think so. Because here's, let me paint a scenario for you. All right? Let, granted, this is all hypothetical, but let me paint this scenario for you. Let's say Aquaman comes out, makes $300 million dollars. Not enough to break even, probably loses money at that point. Okay, fine. But let's say it just makes $300 million, but people loved it. All right? Again, hypothetical situation, but let's just say. Aquaman just makes $300 million, but people end up really liking the movie. All right. They still have two more movies coming out. Shazam and Wonder Woman 2. While Aquaman may suffer the ramifications and the after effects of what happened with Justice League, perhaps the positive experience and the good word of mouth and the good reviews for Aquaman, that could create some momentum going into Shazam. And that could help Shazam out. So theoretically speaking, even if Aquaman tanks, if it's a good movie, and people get some positive word of mouth and, some, and critics like it and all that kind of stuff. Maybe we don't see the benefits of that for Aquaman, but maybe the benefits of that result get shown off with Shazam. And Shazam comes out and makes $450 million. That is profitable. Right? And now let's say people like Shazam and, it, and people get positive momentum going there and they like it and critics like it and that rolls into Wonder Woman 2. And the first Wonder Woman did great. Now the next Wonder Woman makes $900 million. So here's the thing. It's not good for Warner Brothers at all or DC, the DCU or whatever you want to call it, Worlds of DC, whatever. It's not good for them if Aquaman tanks. No, there's no good, there's nothing good there about that. But... I, even if Aquaman tanks, and we don't know that it's going to tank, but even if it did, I believe there's a scenario in which, no, they can still build on that and carry some momentum. They've got two other movies already in the pipeline coming out. And if you can get some positive word of mouth, positive momentum, positive fan reaction, positive association with the brand again, that people like and enjoy, they're more likely to come back out for Shazam, and maybe you start to see the effects of the momentum there. I still believe that even if Aquaman tanks, the DCEU, Worlds of DC, whatever, could still be working. Could still work. Now, obviously it'd be better if it did make money. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see. So no, I don't think it necessarily means the DCU is done if Aquaman tanks. I don't. I think there's still possible... Now, if the movie comes out in tanks and everybody hates it, that's a different story. But I believe there are scenarios in which it could still work. All right, guys, that will do it for the main topics today. We've got a whole bunch of you guys have been sending in some live questions, so let's go over there right now.